All right, I'm doing a short video today on how to upload your videos to YouTube from Jing. I was having a bunch of problems doing this, so I'm really hoping that this short video will help out somebody else as much as the research I did will help out you also. I have this running through Screen-O-Matic right at the moment, but I just wanted to show you that you can also do this from Jing. So at the top of the page, at the top of the page you're going to see this little sun and as you mouse over it, it will allow you to capture and do pictures or videos. It does allow you to have the history in there and then it has more options. So when you're using Jing, it does allow you to go ahead and click on those and create that picture or video and allow you to stay on that page and talk about the product. If you don't have Jing, this is a free download from TechSmith, so you can just type it in techsmith.com and it'll be slash Jing. And I'll go ahead and put that in the comments below, so that's easy to get to. This does allow you to do it with Windows and Mac, so that is available for you. And it is a free download, so it's really a great product to have. Once you do a video from Jing, it does come out in an SWF file and that doesn't convert very well and it doesn't allow you to update that with YouTube. So it was really kind of frustrating because I just wanted to add it to YouTube so that I could go ahead and import it into my Amazon uh, video also. So you have to go to download.com and that is a great place to really do any of your downloads. I feel pretty safe with this product. And then I just typed in free SWF to ABI converter, and then that will bring up this free download. It is a free download. It's really easy. It takes a few seconds, and I found it works really well. Once you download the free SWF to AVI converter, this is what it's going to look like. So super simple. It does allow you to go ahead and click on File, add SWF, and then select your product, and then open it. And then that way it'll go ahead and bring in the file just like it is here. On the left hand side you can pick whichever file you want it to be. I have found that if you're doing anything with Amazon it needs to be at a lower quality. So the 640 by 480 VGA does work really well and then I just leave everything else as standard. What you're going to do is just go ahead and come to the top and hit convert and then you want to select this play and capture at the bottom and I'm hoping that you're seeing that. Let me pull this down just a little further so it'll be the play and capture. When you go ahead and click on that, it'll go ahead and play your video and then let it go all the way through your video. Make sure at the end that you want it to stop where you want it to stop, so hit finish because I noticed when I didn't hit finish, it just kept rotating and doing the video again. So something to keep in mind as you're doing that. Now you'll want to head back to YouTube. So you'll just go back and type in youtube.com. And if you already have a channel, this is going to be really easy. So you'll just go ahead on the top right hand side, go ahead and click uh, upload. And I'm sorry, that's only if you want to go to that section. But if you want to upload this file personally, just click here right in the middle and select upload. It will allow you to go back to where you have saved that file. So right here would be my file. I would click on it, hit open, and then it would go ahead and insert in there and upload to my YouTube channel. I have already done this, so I didn't want to do it again, but this is how easy it is to go ahead and fix that file and you'll be able to add it wherever you'd like. If you need any other help with this information, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out and just comment down below. Go ahead and subscribe also so that we can go ahead and keep you updated on new things that we find on this end that might help you out with some of the stuff you're doing. I wish you a great day and see you soon.